Welcome to One Verse. I want to challenge you to grab your Bibles so that you can follow along and see if you can find the verse as fast as my two participants here. We have Todd Hostetler, pastor at City on a Hill Teaching Center. We also have Jeff Millslegel. He's a Bible teacher at City on a Hill. Jeff, you're going to go first. This is a New Testament verse. It's Romans 12, 2, and it says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So that's Romans 12, 2. It might be my most favorite verse from Romans. This, this is just perfect. We are not to be conformed to the world, but we're to be transformed. And it's just two different words here. We're to be transformed by what? By the renewing of our mind. In other words, how we think. Now, I think to better understand Romans 12, you need to back up just a couple verses. This is the last verse in Romans 11, all right? For it's for of him and through him and to him are all things to whom the glory forever. Amen. Notice what's missing in that. You and I are missing in that. It's all from him. It's all through him. And it's all to him. So he's the, uh, he's the creator, he's the conduit, and he's the conclusion. It's, it's all him. So then you drop into Romans 12, and you start seeing where now Paul's making a point of saying, look, okay, because it's all about him, I want you to think a little differently about this. So, so he says in verse 1, I beseech you. That's a big thing. He says, I'm re I am strongly urging you. And you get to what we are, our verse here in verse 12. Do not be conformed to this world, because the world tells us to think about yourself. It's yourself first. And, you know, we talk about, you know, what's good, what's right for you, and, and it's how you feel. And, do, and he says, no, you're going to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You need to think this way. You need to think selfless instead of selfish. You need to think selfless. You need to think, because it's from him uh, uh, through him and for him, nothing about you. I, I just find this, this section of Romans, particularly this verse, just so important that if we could get our hands around this and really wrap ourselves around this concept of we're not to be conformed to the world. And it's not just shutting the world out of things, but we're to have our mind completely transformed. It's a renewing of the mind. Look, I believe south, salvation is an instantaneous thing, but this renewing of the mind is a lifelong constant thing. We have to constantly work at it. I want to be able to think rightly. I want to be able to have my mind re renewed in, in, in the way Jesus would want me to think. I want to be able to be thinking about him because it's from him. It's for him. It's all about him and not about me. And notice the end of this very thing, and I'll wrap up with this, that he says that you may prove what is the good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Don't we want to walk in that type of revelation, that type of light? We need to have our minds renewed in, in, in him, because it's all about him, and it's not about us. All right there, Todd, what do you got there for us? Well, to me, the two, obviously, the two most important words that are there are the words uh, conform and transform, because those things are opposite. Uh, Jeff had mentioned the verse that comes before it, verse number one. And towards the end of that verse, he says that we are to present your bodies. So you're, you are to present the entire package of who you are, the creation of you. You are to present that as a living sacrifice. That means every day I'm giving myself all that I am. I'm giving it to Jesus Christ, not to serve myself. I'm giving it to Jesus Christ that his will can be accomplished in me. And this is our reasonable service. It's reasonable for me, having been saved. Jesus paid a high price. He paid the highest price. He became flesh. He is God living in eternity and in the perfection. of. And he left heaven and perfection to become flesh, which man corrupted. And that's the huge sacrifice right there. Then he lived amongst us. He lived as a man. And then he gave his life. He willingly gave his life and shed his blood for us. So if I've accepted the sacrifice that he made, my eternity without Jesus Christ, as is true for every man and woman, my eternity without Jesus Christ is eternal hell. And that word hell doesn't begin to bring the intimidation, fear, and concern that it should. A lot of times today people say there is no hell. 
there is. Well, this is saying that because I have been saved, redeemed, I have his promises for this life, and I have all the promises from eternity belong to me. So it's my reasonable service to give my life to him. Now, how do I do that? I think most of us don't realize how easily we are conformed to the things of the world. In fact, I've told people that you don't have to, if you're watching me, you don't have to do any background checks or secretly watch to see if I am living right and spending time in the Word of God. If I'm not spending time in the Word of God, you will know because you'll hear it. You'll hear it in the things that come out of me. Because if I'm not in the Word and in the spiritual realm, there's only two choices. I'm either focused and living in and dwelling in the spiritual realm, or I'm in the natural realm. And if I'm in the natural realm, I have conformed, and I am being conformed. I'm becoming like the world, and so that's what people will see. The Bible tells us here in this verse, we are to not be conformed to the world, but in other, uh, instead we are to be transformed in our minds by having our minds renewed. If my mind is on the news, if my mind is on the world, if my mind is on the things of the world and the cares of the world, my mind is going to be like the world. I need to renew my mind and transform my mind, and that comes only by giving time. If you're not starting every day in the Word of God, I'm just telling you, you're probably not transforming your life. Jeff said that's a daily thing. He's right. If you're not spending time in prayer and in the Word every day, then your mind's not being renewed and you're not being transformed. And if you're conformed to the world, you're going to live like the world and you are going to be subject to the things of the world, which means you're missing out on the deliverances and the victories. It is well, it behooves you and it is your reasonable service, but it benefits you. Make sure that you are not conformed to the world, but having your, being transformed as your mind is renewed in Jesus. Jeff, I'll give it back to you for a close. Well, I'm going to continue on this line of thinking with the conformed and transformed because a conformed thing would almost sound like you're like almost being poured into a mold. You know, you got something there and you're, you're conforming to the mold there. But Paul was telling us, no, don't be like that. You need to re completely rethink that. You need to be transformed, totally different. And uh, as, as we've been talking about, this is a very uh, intentional thing that you have to do. You have to think this way that I am going to, I am not going to allow the world to, to change me. I am going to have to redo my thinking. We might call it having a biblical worldview. I want to redo my thinking so when I am walking in, it, I am walking in the things he wants me to do. You know, later on in this chapter, in fact, the next few verses, he kind of lists various spiritual gifts and we talks about that. And boy, we just love to latch on to that stuff. But I think we forget this, how important verse one and two really is. That the idea of we can't be conformed or just be poured into a mold of what the world tells us to be but we need to have our minds completely renewed, completely transformed, that we would, in fact, think differently than the world. That's this edition of One Verse. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time right here on One Verse.